Anthuli must resign. Two weeks ago we saw the exchange rate going berserk as the Zimbabwe's economy nose dives. The saying goes one can rig the election but one cannot rig the economy. Zimbabwe really needs a clean start. Most sectors of the economy have been suffocated. This Fiji Fiji economy from Thulin Cube will not rescue the country. The center is not holding. The finance minister is not reading the script at the war very well, but he is clever because his family is well domiciled away from the harsh economic environment currently being experienced in the country. He has kept his family where they can get on with normal life and good health care unlike most Zimbabwean families who are facing the brunt of economic hardships. Most people's dreams are being stolen every day by this government. It is now a hard knock life for a lot of people who are living in abject poverty. The center is not holding, our economy is in a limbo. The current prevailing economic situation needs a holistic approach. A lot of the businesses are running under a shoestring budget and most have been suffocated and contemplating closing. It has never been a stroll in the park for the Zimbabwe's economy which had for many years struggled to get on its feet. The country's economy has been reduced to beggars and paupers. It is now a hit and run economy being run by ignorant and clueless people masquerading as economists. A report from the government's daily publication The Herald that Zimbabwe has surpassed its agriculture target of 8 billion US dollars is another cheap propaganda from the government's mouthpiece. This kind of behavior of dishing out false data and information makes it worse and hard for planners. Right now we are importing food from our neighbor South Africa but we boast of having an agricultural target of 8 billion US dollars. Mthuli Nkub must be reminded that it is hard to evolve in a country run through statutory instruments. As long as they are at the realm of power, they will not even care for the poor. They will continue looting the country dry and build mansions in other nations and develop while suffocating their own. Heavily taxing the already impoverished people is the most devilish thing in this world. A leadership devoid of any revenue generating ideas yet they sit on tons of minerals must just quit and allow others to take over. Nothing will come out of this comatose economy and runaway inflation. A government that virtually increases every cost item in its budget will always find it hard to attract new investors and tame inflation. Right now Econet is using diesel to drive its generators so as to power its boosters. There is no a functional economy to talk about in Zimbabwe. The economy is stinging and screwed up. Mthulin Cube has tried many tricks but Lady Luck is not on his side. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.